Have you ever wondered why it takes so many followers to be able to unlock certain features on TikTok? I get a ton of comments on my YouTube channel about why do I have to have 1,000 people to live stream and why do I have to have 18,000 followers in order to get mobile gaming and why do I have to have 100,000 followers to do this, that, and the other thing? And we're actually going to break down why this is. So here's the deal. When it comes to creating content on TikTok, there's a lot of things that could potentially happen. They want to make sure that you are creating good valuable community building content and a lot of people will abuse a lot of the privileges we have on the platform so they require accounts to have 1,000 followers before they can live stream because they want to see that it's a real person and not a spam account because there's a lot of people who would live stream some not so good things but if you put in a little bit of time and effort in order to build up to a thousand followers that's 1,000 people who have said yes I've seen this person's content it is good valuable content and I want to see more of it, that is a social vibe where it says, yes, this is going to be okay to show more people. So once you hit that 1000 follower threshold, then you start to get certain privileges like live streaming. Now they have at any point in time, the ability to revoke those abilities, but they are starting to give you some of these privileges on the platform. Now, in order to do other things like mobile gaming, where you can actually screen share, they know people are going to abuse this right which means they want a higher following. They want you to prove that you have done the work, you've built the community, and you're going to use this in the appropriate way. This basically is just a way to say, okay, you've put in the time and effort to build community, to start those conversations. Now we're going to give you a little bit more so you can do more for your audience. Now, if you've got questions on this, we are here live on Instagram. I would love to get those answered for you, but we're breaking down why it's important to have a higher following account to then get things accessible inside of your account. So if you have a thousand followers, you've proven enough that you are a real life person. You're not spamming. You're not going to do weird things on the platform and they are going to start giving you more and more features inside of your TikTok. Now, as you continue to grow and you get bigger, you're going to get more and more access to things because you've put in that time and effort. And I know it seems like it's going to take forever to reach those certain qualifications, which by the way, we should point out change all the time. The qualifications to get different things are going to shift. So where mobile gaming originally started with 18,000 followers, if you were then accepted, it's now different. They're looking for accounts they think are going to be a good fit for it. And so you could have less followers. You could have 10,000. You could have 8,000. Some people get it with two or 3,000 if they think that they're going to be a good fit. So these things are always shifting. It doesn't necessarily mean it's a hard and fast number. In fact, they didn't have Marketplace open to a lot of people. You had to have 100,000 followers for a really long time. And then they gave a bunch of us access super early because they thought we'd be a good fit. So just because a number comes out and they say you have to have this number to get there doesn't mean that in the next couple of days or weeks that's not going to shift. Now, you do need to build up your audience. So your goal should be working toward building community and conversation. You should be working toward what can I offer my platform to get them to engage with me, to leave comments, likes, shares, saves, all those things count as engagement. The higher engagement rate you have, the more your content will be shown in the algorithm system to all sorts of new people. So you can grow very quickly, you can grow very slowly, but just because you have a low number doesn't mean you won't get access to things before another person who has a higher number. You really have to make sure you qualify yourself as someone who's going to be a good fit for it. So let's just say you're excited for mobile gaming, but you don't have access yet and you're not quite anywhere near that threshold of what they kind of are looking for as the minimum number. With that in mind, what do you need to do? Well, now you need to start creating content that's going to facilitate that feature. What's going to help those people inside of that particular space? Gaming content is going to help them because right now we're only allowed to use it for gaming, not other screen sharing purposes. So at that point, you want to be creating content on gaming. You want to be doing live streams talking about gaming. You want to be doing all the things that you can be doing on the platform to show, hey, TikTok, I am a person you want to work with. So the more you can create content that's going to facilitate those conversations, whether it be live streaming, mobile gaming, or one of the other features TikTok is offering now or in the future, if you position yourself as someone who is going to be a good fit, there's a very good chance you're going to get it early. Now, let me take a step back because remember, 
not only is the algorithm watching you, but TikTok people are watching you as well. So they have just as much ability to scroll through their feeds and see you inside of their feeds and think, oh, that's a cool person and go and look at your content. So it's not just the algorithm picking and choosing. There are real life people who are functioning on this platform looking for people who might be a good fit. That's how TikTok found me. I had a smaller following when they first noticed me, but because I was creating really good, valuable educational content, they came to me and pulled me into their programs. And ever since I've been enrolled in multiple programs and iterations of these programs to work directly with TikTok where they pay me to create content for the platform and they get me into all sorts of really cool things behind the scenes for you guys, you can get their attention too. So if they know they have a new feature coming out in the future and they see that you're creating that content, they're going to watch you. They're going to pay attention. And if you are a good fit, you're going to get access to things early and you're going to get access to these programs as well. So when it comes to these new features or these old features inside of TikTok, or Instagram, or YouTube, or whatever platform you're on, your goal is to position yourself as a good fit for this, so they just might give it to you early. I know, sometimes it feels like it's going to take forever to build up your following, but keep creating good content and position yourself for those new features. If you have questions or comments on this, go ahead and leave those down below. I would love to hear your thoughts on this. Do you have access to these features, or are you still waiting, and do you need some helpful hints on how you can position yourself and your specific account to get those new features now and in the future, let me know and I will see you in our next live stream here on Instagram where we're answering your questions live in real time. And if you are on the replay on YouTube, hit that subscribe and notification bell because every single day we're dropping brand new tutorials on how you can level up on social media without a ton of extra time and work and effort so you can run your business and live your best life while still being present on social and making money from your social media. I'll see you next time.